It's June and we're off for a walk again. Starting off from Brighton Racecourse again. The sheep are coming with us today. Now we're at the other end of the racecourse at Sheepcote Valley and today we're going much further. We're going to follow the valley right down and along the seafront next. Chris is turning over a new leaf. We still managed to find a path that we haven't walked on before. Some of them are really nice and not that far from town. Of course, at some point though, they all go uphill. So after two months, we've finally come back to the seafront and we've got a lot of catching up to do with the walking. Oops, just had to make a bit of a detour and lost the lens hood off of my uh, camera. Had to go about a mile back to find it back up by the golf course. But got it back. The weather's not been quite as nice this month, but in May we walked every day and we averaged nine and a half thousand steps every day throughout May. Not bad during a partial lockdown. Moving, Dean. We walk east over the cliff tops. Ice cream. Rotting, Dean. We're not going as far as Salt Dean today. And that's Wooding Dean. From the seafront, it's all uphill again. This is the Beacon Hill Trig Point. King of the world! We're the other side of the golf course. We've named all these fields around here and this is Greenfield. And this is Cornfield. If you build it, they will come. Up again. And this is Cowfield. How now, brown cow? And back past the golf course. And 
not forgetting sheep field. So four hours, 10 miles and 20,000 steps later, we're back where we started by the race course. Well, that was a long walk. We finally ran out of plums, but we've got nectarines now. It's kind of like a bald peach. Or a big plum. Don't forget to subscribe and join us again next time.